Hi, this is Robin from River County Soapworks, and I'm replying to the viewer of one of the uh, videos that I did on liquid soap making. And she asked that, um, well, she didn't ask, but I feel like I need to show her as best as I can um, how I thicken it. Uh, what happened was I meant to. I meant to follow through with that third video, but I had lots of trouble with the uh, camera. I had bought a little Sony bloggy and it went. So I just recently got another camera and uh, what I'm going to do is just show how the final product is diluted. And in this case, I'm going to thicken it with a 20% salt solution. Um, I'm going to be real honest with you that I, I, I think I kind of prefer putting borax in the, when I figure the, the liquid soap, um, it emulsifies real well and without it, you kind of have to mess around a little bit till you get it diluted. At least I find, find it so. Like in this case, and this is cloudy, it's cold in here, okay? Um, but when it clears, it clears to a nice amber color. But with liquid soap, in case you don't know, when the temperature is cool, you're going to have some cloudiness. That's normal. And when it's warm out, uh, say above 70, 70 degrees, it starts to clear. Um, and you can get it nice and crystal clear if you've done the process right if the temperature, the ambient temperature is warm, okay? And I never realized that when I first started making liquid soap. Um, I thought I had a bad batch and that's, that's not the case. If you're ever concerned, you really have to use your pH meter. You really need to check the batch. But anyhow, this is how we're packaging it. Um, I just put it out. It took a while to get the labels all squared away, but I'm real happy with it. And so when you thicken your soap with a 20% salt solution, you want to make sure you've got your salt dissolved and you need to do it with cold soap. And let's see here. I just add a little bit of time. That's all you're going to be able to do. Just add a little bit of time because you don't want to go too heavy with the salt or end, you end up with really, really thick soap that is more like snot. And it really inhibits the lather. So there's really a fine line. And what I do is I add a little bit of salt, I stir it in. I let it sit for a while, I come back, I see what it looks like and what the texture's like, then I add a little bit more. Let me show you what this is now. It's like this. And this soap right here is uh, scented with lavender and rosemary and what it did without that borax is it kind of coagulated a little bit well, not a little bit, a lot. So I had to add some more, just the water to it to, to thin out the um, coagulation, okay? Um, and next time, I'm getting ready to make liquid soap again, so next time I'll, I'll actually, I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. But here we go here. Now this is, let's see what I did, four ounces. And actually, you know what, I, I want to I wanna let you know that this recipe actually does have 20% coconut oil in it. And the salt's actually not supposed to work, but it does. Or at least for me.
you can see it. You can see the salt solution. You want to stir it all in there. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a while. I'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, um, this is sat enough that I can I show you. I'll try to show you. It's still cold in here. It's only about oh, 65, maybe. Okay, and I have thickened this as much as I want to because, like I said, if you overdo it, then it inhibits the lather with the salt. So there's a, there really is a fine balance. And when it's warm out, uh, it does does clear real nice but here we go I'm gonna I'm gonna try and show you how thick it is it's got a nice texture to it and you can actually when you stir it you can feel you can feel the the uh, body in the soap so it's not thin like uh, Dr. Bronner's. It's very squirtable. Um, this isn't. You can take your soap as thick as you want. You can actually take it to the point where it's uh, real thick, um, like traditional body wash is. But then, like I said, uh, it really does inhibit the lather so I don't I don't like that I think this is plenty got a plenty of enough body in it I really don't need to take it any further than this I don't think actually you know because it's kind of fun just to play in it I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and tonight I'm going to start with another batch and this time uh, I'll be able to do all three videos so you'll be able to see how I dilute it too. Thank you.